Goodbye, Asen. Transmission. If anybody wants an Asen, $10,000 and they could be yours. It's so nice to have a backup camera and like there's like 17 cameras on this thing. I totally forgot. It's got cameras on the freaking mirror. Look at that little minions. Well, that's it. It's tooted. It's, yeah, next on the list is doing like suspension because it doesn't have airbags in the rear. Now I drive a squad of I mean, Murder Ram's got like huge balls, so it's like, really, it's like three trucks. We're going to Texas for Lone Star Throwdown. On the way there, I'm dropping off Murder Ram, the winner of the giveaway. Northern Texas somewhere? I, I don't really know. I'm just to throw it in the GPS and show up at this kid's house. And then we have to go to Southern Texas before the show and pick up my new truck. Well, new old truck. The truck is new to me, but not new to everybody else. Because I told everybody I sold it, and I really didn't. A few moments later... I was driving down the road. I heard a loud clunk when I shifted and uh, I was like, oh, that's not good. Figured I blew my drive shaft and my tea case is literally laying on the floor next to my drive shaft. It looks like the studs on the like adapter snapped going to the tea case and then that fell on the ground. So that broke the drive shaft and my yoke is somewhere back there. I didn't even get to do anything cool with it yet. It was actually driving really, really cool. Like shifting, running through the gears and awe that I'm driving a G56 quad fifth gen and it exploded. <laughs> oh, that's a nice hook. I like that, imagine the lift. After he's done helping me, I think I'm gonna buy his truck. <laughs> this thing's really nice. Usually, I'm the one that's helping everybody. Random people. And he brought you ice cream. Like literally? He owns an ice cream shop. No way. I had the world's first G56 swap fit gen. Now I have half of a G56 swap fit gen. What do you have to do to fix it? Uh, yes. First we have to get into a parking lot. Look, we got a police escort and everything. Wow. We're so cool. Oh boy. Parking break. Go ahead. <laughs> Hopefully this fusion bumper holds up. Fire. You know, this is actually pretty cool. I have not ever <laughs> broke something and had this much help. And also I really want his truck. Me too. Hey, GMC is doing good. He's telling a fifth gen, a murder ram, a Jimmy Rose, and a 44 footer. And one Gabe and one Abby. And I'm already talking to full send diesel, trying to figure out why the heck this happened. I'll explain more once we can actually look at what exactly happened, but I think just the studs on the adapter plate that goes to the TK snaps. That's normal, normal Dodge things. Just money. It's just money. Money to blow. Yeah, money to, no, I'm poor. Should we like- Call my dad. Should we get a loan dead file bankruptcy? My bad, <laughs> it's a manual, so it's just instinct. I always throw the parking brake on. You actually brought her ice cream. She's gonna freak out. I love <laughs> yeah, everybody go follow him. He, he makes really good ice cream. If you're ever in Warsaw, go get your ice cream. <laughs> so basically, it's a six speed. If Dodge came out with a six speed, it would not be half as nice as this one. I would say go drive it, but it kind of doesn't drive. <laughs> Probably the cleanest fifth gen engine bay you'll ever see. What do you think? <laughs> he should have met me 30 days ago. He could own this one. <laughs> Crooked. You. Have you heard the news? Shake the camera back and forth. <laughs> From now until March 24th, you can get entered to win Cardi B, my 2012 F350, with a 30 inch LP fab lift, 28 by 16 Plan B billet wheels wrapped in 44 Interco boggers, got a hood stack, King Ranch interior, it's freaking baller. It's the baddest F250 to ever exist, and it could be yours. All you have to do to get entered is click the link above or in the description below to get entered today. Super simple, but act fast because you guys have less than 30 days to get entered to win this truck, and that's gone forever. You, him, that guy. Somebody, somebody's taking home the keys to it on March 24th. So get out today. Good luck. Enjoy the rest of the video. Jesus Christ. <laughs> boys, boys, boys. No sh Are you kidding? What the hell? Probably could start it and dump the clutch. Yeah, probably. Oh my God. Can push the fifth gen up a trailer. Yeah, we're 10 horsepower. <laughs> Got 50 horsepower trailer. Yeah, but now we can actually see what happened. I think Wait, you blew a trans line. You know what's wrong with it? It ain't got no gas. <laughs> 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 it ain't got no gas. Oh, 
There's the tow rig to save the day. Hey, does your TK snap? No, it's got 340,000 miles on it. Oh no, he's cool. The cop has a thousand horsepower Cobra and an Illumina duty. We get that cop right there with, with that setup. That's, that's I got the hardest nightcap on the on the ground. You got the hardest one to keep on the road. <laughs> We're having a miniature truck meet, so we got fourth gen mega cab, fifth gen mega cab, shitty Duramax, Jimmy Rose 60, Murder Ram going to his new owner. We got a second gen. It's twin with a hood stack. A 60 with a cow hood. Who 60 is it? That's sick. Six four. This thing makes like two thousand horsepower, right? The six four. What the. F Built, not bought. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. So this is not how I wanted to tell you guys, but I bought a new trailer. Now it's being used to haul the truck that was supposed to be hauling it in the next 48 hours. Don't lift your truck eight inches. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Lift it 16 inches to pull trailers. 25. Yep. Ah, oh, what a beautiful day. Beautiful sunset, beautiful trucks, pile of garbage, a whole truck meet back there that just showed up. They just like appeared. You have a sound system? I have a G56. I have a mega cab on the road. <laughs> There's a plus to all this. We get to watch burnouts right in front of my broken truck. Burnouts for days, that is. You broke it. Not a fuel. You, you collide completely? Yeah, roll me back so I can go level again. <laughs> oh. That thing is ridiculous. Thomas, why is it so big? <laughs> Spool it up. Spool it. Not a bad setup. This will be the second coolest trailer setup at One Star Throwdown. If my stuff all makes it. Speaking of that, fifth gen. Cross fingers, hopefully everything's back together. Ooh. Yeah. Freaking nasty. So Brandon and his employees, the transfer case back in it. They took off the broken bolts. Full sun diesel overnighted a yoke and a U-joint. We're gonna throw the drive shaft back in and then we'll be ready to go. Ta-da. Brandon, is this what you need? That looks exactly what you need. It's the wrong one? Yeah, it's the, too small. Measure it up against my... Does it work? Oh, it slides right in. It slides right in? Right I love when that happens. Yeah. That's a tiny drive shaft. So this is the new yoke, and this is the old yoke. Yeah, I kind of messed that up a tiny bit. You'll have that on them big jobs. Is the drive shaft still decent? Looks good. Yeah, not, not terrible. I've never had new parts. <laughs> Come to a drive shaft. I got back in them off one of the boneyard trucks. Hi right, guys, welcome back to the second G56 SWAT fifth gen reveal and hopefully the last, but if it does break, come back next week and see the third reveal and then the fourth reveal and hopefully by the sixth, I'll have another one to reveal. We'll, we'll just keep doing reveals every day. This will actually not be Gabe Pro production. It'll just be G56 SWAT fit gen reveals. I, I have asthma. We have a front drive shaft. We don't have a speed sensor, but we don't need to know how fast we're going. No, it's, really. it's not broken. I it, was just lying. Oh, it isn't broken? Oh. What does the FSD mean? Fat, Fat. sloth. A star pattern, or a circle pattern, or a square pattern? Triangle. Like, triangle pattern? You leave one of them loose. Like one of your TK's bolts didn't make its way back in, but I won't talk about that. We're missing a TK's bolt? Two of them. Five out of six? Four out of two. It's almost like you know what you're doing. I don't. I'm just Whoever guessing. made that wiring harness, they know what they're doing. I don't even know how to put those connectors on it. Here comes all the comments saying, Full send diesel f***ed up my truck. No. Oh. Gabe's ignorance f***ed up his truck because... <laughs> There's supposed to be airbags there. That's $90,000 when you take the airbags off and don't put them back on. Well, how do you, how do you think I afforded the trains? I had to sell the airbags, okay? Is that what you want to hear, Brandon? Yes. We're also missing half of the lift, too. <laughs> There's supposed to be traction bars here, and there isn't because I couldn't afford those either. No traction bars, no airbags, but I do have JTX 26s, so we're cool. <laughs> Ram the daughter, dodge the father. G56 Adore? <laughs> <laughs> One quart. It took one quart? Yep. Oh, I bought four. Yep. So that's for the next four, three times that the transfer case falls out of it. <laughs> it's a jet. <laughs> it's a jet. Oh my God. 
I can't hear you. <laughs> Yeah, I got a retune. I added an Amazon twin turbo kit. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> the screw that came with it didn't fit. So, a, a new lift for the fifth gen? I can't afford it. If only people knew. If only people knew how much money I spent this month. <laughs> More than you made. Remember that R8 that we were looking at? Yeah, I could have bought two of those. You ready for this? Because I'm not. Where's the key? I don't know. I want to see a full f***ing pool! My fifth gen was having issues, as you all know, so I decided to just pick up another one. Boom. Now we have two of the bad fifth gens in the world. This one's all white, color match, it's a limited. It's got JTXs though, so that's pretty cool. Beautiful limited interior. It's got a freaking sunroof. It doesn't have a G56 and it's a big screen. Yeah, yeah, I'm really glad with this purchase. Wait, Fitzgerald? We're in Tennessee? Yeah, this is uh, This dude beat me casa. No one's ever seen it, no one ever will. And this is your truck. Mega cab. Oh, it's not that mine. Girl station. So this isn't my truck. No, sadly not. I mean, I would probably trade you even. See, my, mine's got this thing. It shifts its own gears. Oh, T cases like to stay intact. Mine does sometimes when it doesn't now. fall out of it. For now. I've got one of them old Ace and things. I got one of those too. It's just sitting at the shop. I need that. It's fair. <laughs> the mud bothers me more than anything. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> if it wasn't like $80,000 or whatever it is, I'd be like, hey, Kevin, you want to do too? Well, maybe it would be less because we actually know what we're doing this time and I don't have to pay like 500 hours of labor so you took the hit the first time and i'm gonna spend sixteen thousand. i had to walk so then you could run well i'm not very good at running jog no no not really i have seen this because we were trying to find you vice grips yes when i was doing burnout right. music shitty yeah yeah okay <laughs> times back in the good old days yeah imagine this look at my booty Ooh. oh i see what you're saying and then we fix your booty mm. yep yeah i haven't shaved the tailgate on that okay yet. oh no poverty Sell it. Dad, if you see this, I need a raise. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was from um, last year when I had to put stuff in the bed and it just your fell parachute through. for the drag strip. Yep. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. That's just oh. to make sure your axle doesn't okay. move. Okay. It's a very large tip. It sir. is. It's not big enough, though. Did this have factory bags? Yes, and I took them off like an idiot. That might be an interesting thing for today, then. We may be cutting them off. The bag kit that we got was made for a truck. Without? That did not have that. Must have slipped my mind. Mm, custom modifications today. Custom with a K. I heard you got a dyno in your shop. So then when you get bored and want to go on lunch breaks, you can just like dyno a truck. Sweet oh, baby oh, Jesus. God. Holy stretch. I've never seen a 420V stretch like that. That's fucking sick. And we're tired, guys. So we did do one pull last night and it started doing burnout on the dyno. Oh, I hate when that happens. Yeah. Yeah, casual 1100 horsepower things. <laughs> You know, sell your house. You have a house? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Blake's entertaining, trading me a whole bunch of stuff for this, so you know he's got to test it out first, make sure he likes it. We gotta do a three for one deal. Oh, reverses towards you and down. Is it really that short? You gotta yank out like center to there. Is it? Yeah, it's a manual. You gotta be a man. God bless. <laughs> what kind of man you gotta be? How do you get this thing in reverse or any gear? <laughs> this might be operator error. 
It, it looks pretty dope. Got a backup camera, so he's gonna back up the whole way. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you on our sponsorship deal for our fender brakes. Oh, you got one of those? I do. I he do. deleted them. He said, you don't need those. Well, we made them, so you need those. It, it won't do a burnout. It'll do donuts all day, hey, but it will not hey, do a burnout. You've hey, not seen our pad. This you've not true. seen our slick 25 by 50 concrete pad for March 4th. <laughs> I do like this. Yeah, that's, that's cool. a good job, Kevin. I'm assuming eventually he's gonna make try and make one that covers the whole thing. And then it'll actually come down over the hood too. And then this it's will all say full send it. Yep. And then it'll say, I love Kevin. <laughs> We should take this motor out and then throw it in that truck. I've been told that trans can hold like 2,000 horsepower, right? If I get five pulls out of it, I'll be good. This one's got like three passes and it's been refreshed once already. Change all this green to red, throw this into there, throw that into here. You need these, you need this, and mm -hmm. you need dims. Mm -hmm. Giveaway, daily well, driver. No, don't do that. 22 year old from Oklahoma flipped 17 million times over trees. 1800 you know, you know, horsepower. The, the worst part is though, like when this thing hops on to a uh, Cofart, though, I'm buying her back. Be record, just beware. I mean, it's a good daily driver. You don't like need a dash or anything. Oh, you do need that though. That's for you. That is. That's. I like that. that truck. Oh, we're gonna use that one. That one. Okay, gotcha. That one looks very nice. I lost my window switch. Don't know what happened to it. And then I lost my window. Get radiator. Out of a 91 Fox body. Oh. Mustangs are fast, so we're fast now. Well, how do you get the McDonald's through this door? You can pull the bolt out and the whole window just falls. You try that, <laughs> but I don't know how long that plexi will last before it cracks. Ugh. Poor people. Dude, don't spill anything on my cloth seats. Mm. Laser 2020. Is that expensive? That's, that's only 700. Only 700,000. Dollars. $700. Yeah. Nice, nice. Well, I'll take five. Okay. What we're going to do? is this is a factory airlift airbag bracket. We're gonna redesign it, we're gonna cut it, CNC bend it, and we're gonna have a bracket today. We're kinda custom making a bag setup because this did not work, and we're gonna get you on your way to LST. Sounds good. And that way, no more tea cases snapping. No more snappy tea cases. No. Mm -mm. Oh yeah. This feels like this, some- This is our miniature horse. Oh, oh, hello. It's Does he paint? Uh, no, he eats the supplies, though. I'd say that's pretty flat. Just a little dust on it. Damn, <laughs> and the bed. The bed's the crazy part. Oh, oh my God. God. Perfect. Smooth. Bottom. That's nuts. How does it feel? You own the fifth gen game. You own the fourth gen game. Now the third yeah, gen yeah, game. We're going for third gen. You gonna buy a second no. gen? That is the one game that I will not touch. Yeah, I'm my sorry. grandpa. My grandpa can keep that. He's got it. I love it. Damn, I want another I one. I cannot wait to see this thing together. I need a half and half truck. Can he it's paint half and half? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he will. He's got tape. Just when you think you got Blake all figured out, you know exactly what he has. He has three more trucks that he hasn't told you about. I wonder what it's gonna look like in the sunlight. Oh my God. That is crazy. Goddamn. This is not for sale. Stay this is not for sale. That's wild. What's the color? I don't know what it's called. It's secret? Yeah. I'm not that guy, but I don't want to see other trucks this color. Yeah, I, I understand. I, yeah. I love it. I never thought I'd like a third gen this much. I love third gens, but I didn't think I'd like one this much. So we're painting the hood, the wiper cowl, the little plastic yeah, piece, yeah. and the wiper arms. So it's going to be no shit. all the way up. Paint the windshield. That's a good idea. <laughs> Is that a compressor? Yeah, we might be doing hood right too. Good noise. Ooh, I like that. Hey, an airbag. That are not supposed to be there. 
Yeah, we're not made to go there, but they're there now. Like ingen ingenuity. Hey, if rednecks can do that, we need to meet them. <laughs> and hire them. Oh, yeah, all hired. all we 10 win. of them. So now not only do we have the world's first G56 swap truck, the G56 swap truck now has airbags. Again, they had airbags before I took them off because I'm an idiot, and now they have better airbags. Garage door opener. Garage door. Oh, I don't even have a house. Well, I mean, that's worth as much as a house. It's the same thing. I mean, it costs you as much as a house. <laughs> It's got wireless compression on it, it's a little remote, air right up, and watch it go up. You wanna load the truck first and then add air to kind of get her level. But you don't wanna be running around with like 80 pounds in these, I mean. Well, if you put like 100 pounds, if I like jump it, it'll like bounce whenever I hit the ground, right? It'll be a grenade. Yeah, it'll go boom. We like that too, don't we? I mean, the bags themselves aren't that expensive, so it'd be a cool video. <laughs> At nine o'clock today, we thought the brackets in the box would work. We made new brackets, we painted them, we put it on, compressor and all. Thanks to that beautiful ball head. Hi. We were gonna dyno it, but I don't think we have time. Yeah, we don't have time. If you wanna see this truck getting dynoed for the first time, come out March 4th to this location. 1131 Commerce Drive, Jamestown, Tennessee. Yep. March 4th, we're having a big truck show. It's gonna be dope. There's like, how many vendors? 22? 27. 27 vendors. <laughs> Off to Texas. Dude, I never noticed that the center console has lighting in the center. Oh yeah, it's pretty fast. That's, that's even cooler. <laughs> yeah, good job, that's, Kingsby. That's dope. I know Chase already, but I already love him. On a scale of one to 10. Kevin did a great job. Thanks. Six speed swap, looks great. Everything under the hood looks great. I'm a nitpicker on other shops. You usually won't see me say it, but I'll either fix their crap or I'll have an opinion on it, but I won't trash talk them. Kevin did a really good job. Uh, between the back kit and everything else, and once we get the new lift, this thing will be nice. Thanks. It'll be, it'll be nice. I'm excited. It's already probably the most expensive fifth gen in the country. Not the baddest, just the most expensive? No, just the most expensive. <laughs> uh, the baddest is in storage somewhere. Hey, I'll bring an empty spot on the trailer for it to bring it home with me next time. Give it away, man. The people want it. The people, people want, want it? it. <laughs> Don't this one away. This one's too Oh, no, 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 no. I'm okay. I really like this. Biden. The quicker f***er. <laughs>